Well, we have an update on the investigation into a dog that died after its owner says it ingested water at El Dorado Beach in South Lake Tahoe last month. News where Sophie Lincoln has been following this story and brings us this exclusive interview with the owner. After the California Water Board said last month that there were no toxins at two Lake Tahoe beaches, the final death determination for the dog who died, Cora, suggests the possibility that there may have been toxins there before the samples were collected. Cora's case went viral after her owner, Anais Felt, posted about her case to TikTok, where she claims Cora died just hours after ingesting toxic algae at a Lake Tahoe beach. About a week later, the Lahontan Regional Water Quality Board and the Nevada Division of Environmental Protection collected water samples from El Dorado Beach, where Felt says her dog ingested the toxins, but those samples came back non-detect for cyanotoxins, according to a release from the California Water Resources Control Board. Now, the investigating agencies say in a statement provided to us by Felt that after a, quote, thorough review of the veterinary diagnosis, site visits, and a public health assessment, the determination was made that Cora's death, quote, met the CDC's criteria for an animal harmful algal bloom associated case, end quote. They conducted a very thorough three-week investigation into Cora's death to determine if it was a HAB-related event or a harmful algae bloom-related event, and they determined that it was indeed a HAB event. While the agencies involved weren't able to answer questions specific to this case due to what they say are privacy policies, Felt offered an explanation she says the toxicologist gave her about the discrepancy between the two reports. According to the water results, cyanotoxins were not present in the samples. However, cyanobacteria was. The bacteria can very quickly shift into becoming a toxin given the right conditions specifically heat, nutrient, light. Um, and when Cora was in the water, there was a heat wave. Felt provided our team with these water sampling results where you can see two types of cyanobacteria were present in small amounts. The statement also says the case will be reported to the CDC's National Tracking Database for Harmful Algal Blooms. California's map has now a floating bloom general awareness advisory, as you can see, but those advisories have not been put back up at the beach itself, despite the agency saying in its statement that they would have the signs at the beach for the rest of the summer. I've reached out to the Water Board about this and we'll keep you updated if that changes. Reporting in the studio, Sophie Lincoln.